Okay, 2010 Rocket 3 Roadster, and I've got uh, some of the engine apart here. I'm just checking the uh, timing of the valves. I'm just after setting it there, I'm just going to verify it there now. This is the intake uh, valve on cylinder one. I've got the dial indicator and needle sitting on. And you can see it's uh, it's pretty much in line. You can see it too well on camera, but it's pretty much in line with direction of travel of the, the valve, the little needle there. So as you can see, the scale is in millimetres. Now what I'm aiming for is 110 thousandths of lift, thousandths of an inch, which is 2.794 millimetres, which is where I put the little green marker here. And over here to the side, there we go. And uh, now I'm starting on a scale about 7.5 millimetres there on the large scale, which happens to be the small needle on this face. And uh, the large needle is uh, zeroed. So what it should do is go around the dial twice to get 2 millimetres and then uh, back around to, I know it says 20 there, but it has 80 in small be in small text because that's the direction the tr needle is travelling in this case. Because I'm measuring uh, down, not the needle of the gauge is going down, not up. So that's what I'm aiming for. So I'm going to go ahead and turn over the engine here by hand using this uh, ratchet and socket. So it'll turn the crank over and that gear down there that's in the centre of the screen that the socket is sitting on will turn the cam chain, which will turn the cam. And these lobes then will turn in and start opening the valve, the two valves. And uh, this guy here should go back around. So I'm just going to put down the camera for a second just so I can get this thing and turn it. It's kind of a two-handed operation, otherwise the cam will fly and turn the thing open too far. So there we go. Now she's after moving around to... It's after dropping down by about two millimeters there, 2.1. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around here, move this guy to top dead center. So go around the other side of the bike for this. Take my light. Try and focus here. Um, couldn't in my own way here. I can't see a thing. Ah, there we go. Durr. Okay, so the timing mark is up here at the top and that timing mark needs to come around too. It's, I'm going to put down the camera again and just wind that round until the dot might matches up with the line. This is where I need an assistant to hold the camera for me. Now there's a bit of slack in the timing chain ever so slightly so if I wind this round the top dead centre which is there and then let go it rolls back a small little bit so if we just look at that there now you can see top dead centre mark is is pretty good so we go back around here look at our indicator and we are Hey Presto, Robert's your mother's brother, we are bang on 2.9 millimeters of travel there. So that's pretty good, I think I'll, I'll settle for that. It's now uh, nearly 10 o'clock at night so I'm going to go home. And uh, that's pretty good. Now tomorrow I'll come back and I'll just check that a few more times just for uh, repeatability and consistency and when that's good I will uh, take off one uh, bolt which is securing on the cam drive gear and uh, just put a bit of Loctite on it, put it back then turn over the engine and uh, by hand and do the same with the other bolt. One bolt is enough just to hold the sprocket in place while it's turning over but you need two bolts on just while the engine is running at like 9000 RPM and uh, I have to do the same then with the exhaust. I've already set the exhaust cam but I need to verify it so I'll do that tomorrow and uh, just to get a look at the cam sprocket there, you can see the bolt is nearly at the end of the slot. Now I put it there on purpose just because if that bolt ever loosens or lets go for whatever reason and the, uh, the gear slides forward, what will happen is, worst case scenario, the gear will stop against the shaft of the bolt and the, the uh, valves will be closed at top dead centre.
both valves as opposed to slightly open which they, which is which is where they are now so worst case scenario valves closed uh, top dead center best case scenario they're open slightly at the spec i'm setting them to uh, for max power so okay